Hey guys, how's it going today? Kale Winston and I are here bringing another Wi Fi battle. I'm really glad to be back on the weekends and I probably haven't uploaded in like two or three weekends. And uh, it's really cool to be seeing me back on Saturday or Sundays. Anyways, for today's common question of the day, what is your favorite ground type Pokemon? My personal favorite is the Golurk. Because Golurk's only got a monstrous attack. I think like over 120 base. And that is insane. Sub punching Golurk is crazy. And also can do other things like, like rapid spin block and uh, you can set the rock paw and do some sweeping here. So that's why Golurk is my personal favorite ground type. What is your favorite? Please comment below. Anyways, today I got a battle against the Colosseum 09. His link will also be in, in the description. And uh, he also uploaded his version of the battle. The link will also be below. Anyways, there's a UU match against him. And I'm really haven't fought my UU ever since uh, I lost Noah way back then. Like, what, 20 uploads ago, probably? And uh, he brought a Chansey. But now since Chansey moved to the OU, I've got a new interest in this tier. So that's why I'm kind of really fighting against our UU now. Looking at my team, I'm really building a really offensively bulky, offensively powered team with Scarf Scarf. Scarf Scarf. Yeah, Choice Scarf Diamond's Hand, Choice Scarf Heracross, Sub Punching Azumaro, um, Bulky Porygon 2, but that thing's also offensive. Deoxys Defense, that thing's also just there for sub hazards and stuff. And uh, Sub CM Call Mine Raikou. He's going to leave with Aggron, which is pretty interesting because Aggron is powerful, but it's dirt slow and it's also really, really weak to uh, some dual, dual common attacks. I'm going to go U-turn here, but he didn't go for the Stealth or anything, and I also don't want to take a Stone Edge or an Earthquake from this thing. So I'm going to go right into Azamarill knowing that, but he goes for a Metal Burst, but me go with a Superpower or something to hit him down really hard, because Metal Burst, you know, I think it does uh, reflect you a lot of damage back if he gets hit. Anyways, he's going to be a trace my huge power with the Porygon 2, and that's really unfortunate because he plays his Porygon 2 this entire match really nicely and uses my uh, abilities to his advantage. I'm going to go with sub, and then I'm going to go focus punch here. Then he's going to go with Thunderbolt, knocking out my sub. Really easy hit, but the crit didn't even matter anyway. I'm going to go with a sub, and then punch, and then it's that's going to hit him down to like eh, 40%, 35%. And that does a jack load to Porygon 2. Most Porygon 2, most of all, like mine, are defensive ducks and they are crazy defensive. That focus punch did so much. I'm bringing my own Porygon 2. This is actually an analytic Porygon 2 with zero speed and zero IVs in speed. And uh, it's 252 HP, 252 special attack and modest nature. And it's analytic basically powers up your move by 30% if you move second. So that is great for me. I'm going to go with the Ice Beam here after I go for the try attack on the Porygon 2, knowing that it'll switch into a save life most likely, so I'm going to go for it. Then he's going to go for Recover, I think I'm going to go for another Ice Beam. I really don't fear this thing at all. He's mostly going to have will o -Wiz, Taunt, Recover, and all that stuff, but I have three attacks in Recover, and looking so far, he probably has Nightshade, so Nightshade's not going to do anything to me, but I'm totally safe. He just switch out here knowing that he can't do anything to me right now, and he's had to bring his Ampharos. This Ampharos proved to be the most annoying Pokemon in this team. It was so freaking annoying, and you guys will see why. I'm gonna keep on Ice Beams here, but then I'm gonna decide to switch out into my Heracross, knowing that Ampharos are most likely especially defensive. So, but then he goes with a Cotton Guard, which gives him times three plus three defense, and that is insane. Insane. Look at that. I go for the close combat. Does not do anything. I think close combat Mega Horn. Same thing. But it doesn't even do anything to a plus 3 Ampharos, and he gets the Parastatic Hacks on me, which is really unfortunate, and now I'm really stuck in a hole. He did over a second Charge Beam here. He's gonna hit, get the Special Attack Increase, and that is really, really blowing me off because I don't know how to deal with this thing. He's gonna go over Charge here, which is also a really nice move on him because it increases his Special Defense. And now he has plus one special defense, I think plus two special attack, and then plus three defense. That is crazy. Look at that. That try attack for me, analytic boosted try attack from modest Porygon 2, is not doing that much anyway. He gets the plus three with the special 
Uh, no, sorry, plus two with special defense with a charge to go for another one. And here you see, this is not doing anything at all. The only disadvantage, Amphros, however, it does not have a recovery move. And that's kind of why it's NU and stuff. But anyways, he's going to keep more charge beam here. It's doing more and more damage to me because, of course, he's gaining special attack every turn. And then now he's going to have his focus blast, which, unfortunately for me, it hits for him. And kills off my Porygon too, which is quite unfortunate because I'm left with that big yellow, I don't know, sheep looking thing. Uh, it doesn't even have hair on it. I'm going to go with my Darmanite's hand, go for the earthquake, super effective, and it's from my Darmanite's hand. However, it's not sure for a boost, it's so it's not going to even kill. Oh my goodness, I was so, so pissed off at this thing. And second of all, now he's going to switch out, knowing that he's going to kill him next turn, even with the plus 3 defense. And he's going to go right into Flygon here, knowing that obviously Scarf most likely. And uh, that's what exactly what he does. As I want to go for an Earthquake, not wanting to overpredict because I hated the Ambro so much. Anyways, I'm bringing my D off his defense here, knowing that I can take whatever hit he's got if he chose Scarf. But he goes for the Home Claws, which shows me he's most likely going to carry um, that. And then he could go for Home Claws on me, knowing that uh, I'm probably going to status him or something. But I'm going to go for a Taunt after a second Home Claws, forcing him to attack on me. And uh, he probably does not want to waste his plus 2 attack anyway. He could go for a plus 2 Dragon Claw. And remember, the Alpha's defense does not have any defensive EVs at all. This is fully invested in speed and HP. It doesn't even do half. That just shows the bulkiness of Deoxys defense. That is crazy. I just have to keep seismic tossing this thing, knowing that uh, I really don't need hazards in this game. And I just want to will down this flag as much as possible before he doesn't kill me off. He told me that he actually has a Slack Berry. That is very interesting because Slack Berry could raise him by one, plus one speed, and that's really, really, really dangerous. But it doesn't knock him down to that range, which is great for me because I can outspeed him with the choice scarf down man in go for the flurry bit knowing that at that range of hp it would easily kill him he's gonna bring back his porygon 2 and porygon 2 is gonna trace my sheer force and that is insane sheer force i think raises the thing by i think 30 or 50 percent but it, re it takes out your secondary effect so it's not gonna he's not gonna hack me out but porygon 2 is gonna start doing a lot of damage to me like crazy he decided to switch in his uh ambrose now as i have my hair cross out and he probably knows that with the plus 3 defense again, it's not going to do anything. And I unfortunately get the Parahax on top of that, salt in the wound, and that is not cool at all because Ambros is just trolling me all day. Now he just ended up bringing his Sableye here, knowing that I'm locking the close combat, so I'm going to have to switch out. And I'm going to go into my Darmanitan, knowing that I can hit anything on his team on a choice card for a little bit. He's going to do a jackload to whatever he's got. He's gonna bring. He's gonna go for the nightshade, knowing that I've obviously switched. But uh, I do live with 53 HP. Go for the flare bit as he brings in Ambrose as death fodder, and finally this thing is out of here. Get that thing out of here. I was so happy, so happy that thing was gone. And I, on top of that, even live with 10 HP, which is awesome because he doesn't have hazard up, and that means I can switch out, go back in some later time, and hit something extremely hard. He's going to go into his Porygon 2 as I go right into my Heracross here. I want to go for the close combat. I know this uh, Porygon 2 is not going to kill me in one hit. He's going to go for a T-Bolt here. And it's going to do a lot of damage because it is sheer force. Come on. It's sheer force. That is crazy. And, ah, oh, yes, second pair hack. Really unfortunate because now my Heracross is going to die to this Porygon 2 without doing any damage to it. And that is really blows. Now, uh, after all the after turn effects here, I'm going to have to bring in my Raikou, knowing that uh, I can do some damage to this thing. So I'm going to go for the Calm Mind as he goes for Thunder Wave, which really, really blows, because now I can't uh, finish sweep him. I can't sweep him, and this Porygon 2 is just going to keep on trolling me like a beast, because it is sheer force. Come on. Sheer force is crazy. Now that I have the plus one attack, I'm going to go for the Substitute now, knowing that it'll probably switch from here. As he does go to Zion and save a lot. Slaylight's not going to do anything to me, even if he goes for the Taunt, and uh, I probably knew that he would go for it, but anyways, I really didn't need that second Calm Mind anyway. So I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt, and he's going to do a jack load to the Sableye, and I'm not sure if he's going to kill or not, but uh, yeah, it does. He's going to bring his Clay All here, go for the Earth Power, easily going to take out my sub, and I'm going to go for HP Ice here, and why not? There's really no reason leaving Raikou here, Raikou is paralyzed. 
Raikou is basically useless from here. Got to go for the HP ice, and it does just around half. Uh, after all those HP water goes down and stuff, he's gonna go for another Earth Power. And with me having, I think, plus two, um, I'm gonna live with pretty decent amount of HP. He doesn't even do half to me, even if I have the previous damage on it already. But I'm just gonna kill it off with a second HP ice, and that is great for me because I just killed off a Pokemon with a paralyzed Raikou. That is awesome. He's gonna bring his aggro on here, and I make a really derpy play by uh, after he goes with a Stone Edge here. He does miss, but it doesn't really matter in the end because I'm gonna go for HP Ice instead of Thunderbolt, thinking that Aggron is part ground, but in reality, it's only Steel Rock type actually. So the Thunderbolt would have definitely done a lot more, and it wouldn't have been resisted. So a really derpy play on my part. He goes for uh, some kind of move. I think the Earthquake most likely. Uh, can they just lagged up me again? Anyways, I'm gonna bring in my beast, Azumarill. Just gonna go for a substitute here because I think this Agron does not want to do anything to me. It's definitely gonna hurt him a lot. So I'm gonna go for it. But then he goes for the Meta Burst for some really odd reason. I do not know why. Uh, he already knew the Meta Burst wouldn't do a lot anyway. And the Thunder Punch would easily take me down by a lot of HP anyway. He does decide to go for Thunder Punch to knock out my sub as I do set up a Focus Punch in his face. Gonna go for it. He does not have the 30 if he does have it. And uh, that is a dead Aggron. Aggron takes it destroyed by Focus Punch. Now he's gonna bring back his Porygon Z, uh, Porygon 2. And that's really unfortunate because I'm gonna have to go for Waterfalls there, hoping that he won't recover. Because my last Pokemon is Darmanitan. If Darmanitan doesn't kill with a superpower, I'm pretty much screwed against this Porygon 2. I do live one Thunderbolt, which is great for me because I do carry max HP as all as I'm do anyway. Gonna go for a waterfall and then he's gonna kill me off with a second thunderbolt and that is great because he didn't go for recover. Now it is down to his last Pokemon. I'm down to my last Pokemon, Darmanitan, Scarf, easily gonna kill. I live with 10 HP and that means I win by a very, very small amount. That is a great battle, the Colosseum 9. And um, please remember to answer the comment question today, leave a like on this video, and please subscribe. For more of these videos here. Until then, it's Kevin29 here saying peace.